Hey guys, welcome back to another Windows 10 Mobile Facts and Discussions videos and I'm going to answer a lot of uh, queries and, and answers. I got a lot of tweets uh, from the couple of days from the days uh, 17th March till Windows 10 Mobile has been rolled out officially. Not all phones are eligible as I already explained you in this previous video, you can watch that video. What are the phones are eligible for that but uh, I'm too surprised guys really I'm, I'm astonished and too much frustrated because from the whole year I've been waiting and running these devices a lot of Lumia phones from past years and months I've been replying to users convincing them to update and I was very happy when it rolled out but it was really a kind of different news uh, when only few of the phones are limited I got for the first batch of release but uh, I thought maybe there is a second wave but there is no second wave uh, as you can see here this is the Twitter reply There is no second wave and uh, there is very famous phone called the Lumia Icon that is a uh, Lumia 929 and that too being in, is uh, removed from the first batch but uh, even though they are under consideration so to, today we are going to see a uh, look a lot of questions that we have here already I have posted the same uh, in my app you can check that if you have downloaded my app you can definitely read out there and go and find that so we will be seeing a lot of questions here and uh, I have consolidated uh, kind of subsuite and actually I'm traveling right now guys so I can show you exactly all such my setup is being disturbed uh, I'm in the IJ airport right now so anyway you can check that in the app and figure out there what are the stuff there I'm going to read that so and uh, just like Microsoft has already broken the promise uh, when it was Windows Phone 7 a lot of devices were skipped when they have been updated to Windows Phone 8 and just to summarize again uh, this is the following number of the phones uh, that are eligible for Windows 10 Mobile uh, starting with Lumia 1520, 930, the 640XL and these are as you see in the screen these are the phones uh, that are eligible for Windows 10 Mobile updates so you can uh, read them and find steps there and also to give you an idea there are total 36 Lumia phone and these are the phones you can see starting from Lumia 800 and if you go down uh, till the end uh, we got the Lumia 650 the latest one so and not all are they are the separated one they include all the windows phone 7.5 7.8 8.0 8.1 so uh, a lot of things has been categorized here you can check that here uh, I've made a separate category so these are the phones that are moved to windows phone 8.1 uh, these are all 8.0 phones but they, they are shipped with 8.0 and these are the phones that are shipped with 8.1 and not all are eligible for example Lumia 530 not eligible the question and answer that we have here first let me show you an image here as you can see this is the image uh, the Lumia icon is only been considered there is no second wave uh, but the icon is still under consideration uh, that means uh, the Lumia icon or Lumia 929 still under consideration for the Windows 10 Mobile update since it is the same specs as the Lumia 930 but this is an exclusive to Verizon and tie-up phone so it's a CDMA phone so things are a bit different there now the first question we have here will there be any new insider builds for the older Lumias so there will be no new builds uh, but there can be security patches security patches in terms of means uh, if something has been reported critical issues so definitely you will get that bill and until the the build is currently the dev branch uh, that is uh, uh, called redstone build which starts with the build number 14 and xyz and uh, the 291 that has been latest right now is, is, is about to come so and uh, after that point uh, 10586 dot whatever we are seeing that right now dot 164 will no longer be updated and this branch has been scrapped and all the phones that have been upgraded uh, they will be you know moved to this development branch uh, that is redstone branch and right now it is it is a bit difficult already I have an image here you can check here here's an image that you can see so this has been in discussions uh, with uh, there's been question asked and according to Gabriel uh, you can continue to run 10 5 versus build as an insider uh, but we just cannot support them indefinitely that means uh, sooner or later this branch is going to scrap so if you are on the insiders and uh, for the older Lumia so you can enjoy the build as long as you can because after a few days definitely this branch is going to scrap 
Now the next question is here, is there very huge performance difference between the Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10 Mobile for the older Lumias? Yes, uh, there are exactly difference. I can say that because uh, I'm returning on the very low phone and to the medium phone with, in terms of RAM and in terms of processor, the, the 630 has a Snapdragon 400. Uh, there's a difference uh, once you start Windows 10 Mobile, if you go back to Windows 10, Windows Phone 8.1, uh, there's a huge uh, difference of performance, you can see that. So yes, uh, Windows 10 Mobile runs slow, but you won't notice these things uh, if you have the good phone, for example, the 640 XL or the 930, 1520. And these phones are which has at least one gigs of RAM and a good processor. Uh, their phones uh, work very flawlessly. You won't notice uh, any difference in terms of 8.1 or Windows 10 Mobile performance. And so, yes, obviously there's a performance difference. Now the next question we have here, is the RAM that matters or the processor? The usage of RAMs come when you run, you know, heavy memory demanding apps like Asphalt and all. Because these games, uh, any apps you open, it needs to first from the hard disk or for your, from the phone memory or device memory. It uh, temporarily moves to the RAM. So the bigger the size is there for the app side, if the bigger is the RAM, definitely uh, your phone will work smoothly to handle all these apps and games whatever you're installing so yes rams come in picture but yes processor is there processor uh, manages if you run multitasking if you do a lot of running lot of games and apps together there comes the processor because it is handling all things in round robin way if you are the computer science background you must be knowing that thing so these things happens with that way so yes if your phone has more RAM, that's why there's a criteria for a device with having 512 mm for example the 630 the 520, 625 and these are a couple of the phones that are uh, 512 MB of RAM or half gigs of RAM. These phones are won't get updated so definitely uh, RAMs matter that's why Microsoft has made a decision to put a line somewhere. So now uh, the next question we have here is I installed Windows 10 Mobile's latest build and it's still working fine for me. The good answer to this is see you know uh, to see the phone in the OOP condition for example out of box experience phone and on that condition the phone is freshly installed no third party apps just whatever comes to the os so uh, microsoft has taken a lot of feedbacks and i too have shown you a lot of demos guys uh, when you first install the build uh, it works uh, very slow for the starting and after a couple of days maybe from the one or two reboots phone start working nice so these things are there uh, because this happens when the phone is of low hardware specs so it may run uh, flawlessly anytime because sometimes I said for the 520 you know, it's working very fine smooth performance and the current build is features a lot you can check that this video title the phone is switching a lot these kinds of surprises happen with uh, the low specs phone so definitely uh, if you start using Windows 10 Mobile so one or uh, two days after sooner few days uh, you might be getting annoyed and once you got official update you can go back to 8.1 that's, that's why Microsoft have made some decision to which phones to get that or not now the next question is here what may be the reasons for skipping many old Lumia's phone so and according to the Microsoft uh, Gabriel the reason is a uh, especially for the 1020 people has inquired so this is higher percentage of reports of the performance issues lower percentage of votes for likely to recommend it so it's kind of way uh, it's not microsoft has ever really made a decision uh, they receive a lot of feedback from the peoples and everything so that's why we can say uh, uh, microsoft not even doesn't uh, it's not about something that microsoft don't want you get to update microsoft wants to give you you know smooth performance for your device uh, it's not to be think in terms of wrong way something is not working Microsoft definitely is not going to give you poor services so that in the future people will say and argue raise a question that uh, if your device is not working properly why the update is given to me and now I can roll back to 8.1 so definitely there must be some reasons coming to the next question here is the current 10 fibers inside will is the last bill and yes definitely I was thinking uh, it was not but after getting a lot of replies from the Gabriel uh, I can say it's the last one and there's no sure but can be surprises if it is even possible we may get at least uh, one or two but i don't think so we are going to get a bill and because according to gabriel you can say uh, this is the image you can see here and yes once it ships to the current branch production branch no date announced so that means uh, production branch uh, is the one that you have uh, the redstone build that is going to development branch and it is also in the production branch so once uh, these things has been uh, moved so 10 5 versus branch is no longer needed and you're not going to get any update soon uh, whatever current build you are there you have to use the, that state 
Next question we have here is, do you think there will be performance improvement in future for Windows and mobile? Uh, there can be, but uh, not as of now, because uh, right now Microsoft is busy in and fixing the stuffs like, you know, making the build stable, uh, giving some features and doing things add on. So performance things were, were done when everything gets smooth, there's no bugs and everything all then, the, you know, any software company project uh, has been moved to, you know, enhancement phase where they do a lot of fixes for the phone to get the stability and all things. So in future we may see, but uh, don't expect to be much higher jump. Uh, it might be five to 10 or 15% of improvement. We can say that. The next question we have here, uh, will the insider program continue in future? Yes, uh, I exclusively, I was the only person who inquired this question from the Microsoft. This is the image you can see. And I asked with the Microsoft at the, how long we can expect the Windows and Mobile in Windows Insider program to run the Windows and Mobile. And the simple answer is here, our intention is to keep it running uh, as a continuous program. The new builds coming from the development branch, dev branch means the Redstone 1.4 XYZ branch that I mentioned earlier. So definitely uh, Insider program is going to continue because similar to the PC build, uh, PC build has been released officially a lot of months back uh, from the mobile build and still we are seeing a lot of I guess 1.5.1 has been rolled out. I didn't check exactly. I need to check out when I'll get back to I'm still using my LT network to do all the stuffs and things. Now the next question here, uh, what will you personally suggest? So personally guys, I will say stop listening to others and if you have a time and enough data and patience, so go ahead and install the Insider app and follow the complete instruction if you want. Uh, check that in my video list, there's a complete video. It's very simple, update your phone and if your phone is very low spec, for example 520, I will definitely never recommend because for just for sake of how the Windows 10 mobile looks like if you're a Windows fan and not willing to buy any new phones sooner or later. So definitely you can go and update and feel the new OS. And if you have device like, you know, 1320, 1020, 630, uh, I'll be showing you guys, these devices work very fine. Uh, if you have, uh, that's why if, if I said, uh, if you have a good processor, at least Snapdragon 400, or if you have an older processor with good RAMs, for example, the one gigs or two gigs of RAM in 1320 or the 1020, these devices don't work as fast as Windows Phone Internet, but yet once, once you start using that phones, uh, you won't notice much difference. Uh, things will work smooth because anyway, I'm not going to roll back. I will just roll back Windows Phone to 8.1, this Lumia 520 and 630 and this 1020 works very fine. And the benefit is that uh, until end of the Insider program, 10.5 branch is alive, you have a still chance to roll back to any of the 8.1 version, uh, whichever you are there. So once you get the official, you won't roll back it yet, it's not possible. So uh, go ahead and install that, uh, it will take only a couple of hours and you won't lose any data if you do it uh, intelligently and make sure to take backup, keep this apps uh, remains in your phone, make at least a couple of 2 gigs or more gigs of space, try to update it there with a good Wi-Fi network, your phone will get updated. So that's it guys, all the information I have put it in my phone, you can check there in my apps on phone and that's why I used to put, uh, when I used to not make fill the video, I used to put information in my app, you can read it here. So in case you still have any concerns and queries, you can uh, uh, write to me or tweet to me either at GIS support or you can put your request with hashtag GIS support. I will try to get a reply as much as possible and don't get feel cheated uh, because sometimes, someday uh, there has to be some lines and limitation where uh, you won't, because I personally see 520 for example is not working smoothly for Windows and mobile even though this is most popular phone and still holds the 14.3% market share is highest uh, phone sold for the Windows and mobile history. So, Definitely everybody will see, but uh, anyway, this device is actually designed for Windows Phone 8, but even though Microsoft updated to 8.1, but uh, if you update to Windows and Mobile, things will get a bit uh, junky and rough, so definitely it's not recommended. So stay tuned for the next video, guys. I will talk to you very soon. If you have any questions and queries, as I said, tweet to me and ask any question if you have it there. And I will see you very soon with a new couple of uh, videos and all. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a nice day ahead.